Welcome back to my channel and in the first in a series on puff pastry where we'll be starting today by making the puff pastry itself. This puff pastry is very robust and versatile and is suitable for most puff pastry applications and this is the recipe I will be using for all of the dishes in this series. Begin by mixing the vinegar and water and placing it in the fridge and then take 50 grams of the butter and dice into small cubes and set aside the remaining 450 grams of butter to come to room temperature. Rub the cubed butter, flour and salt together until it resembles breadcrumbs. You can use a food process for this stage but I prefer to make it by hand. Next add about two thirds of the water to the mixture and start to combine it into a smooth but not sticky dough. You may not need to use all of the water and be careful not to overwork the dough. Once the dough is almost fully combined, turn out onto the worktop and knead until fully combined and then cling film and refrigerate for 20 minutes. You may need to use more water to get the dough to fully combine. At this stage, add very small amounts of water at a time until you get the required consistency. Next, take a sheet of baking paper, fold it in half, lightly dust with flour and place the butter in between the layers of paper and roll into a single sheet of butter measuring approximately 25 by 40 centimeters and then return to the fridge to chill slightly. Then take the dough from the fridge, lightly dust the worktop with flour and roll the pastry out into a rectangle slightly larger than the butter. You can tease it into shape if you need to. And then place the sheet of butter over the top and fold one third over and then fold the remaining third over the top before refrigerating for a further 25 minutes. As you can see, if like me you have a slight overlay that doesn't contain any butter, trim the excess off. Next, take the pastry from the fridge and roll out again into a rectangle. You may need to slightly tease the pastry with your rolling pin to get it started due to the butter chilling. Fold it twice and then roll out and fold again before chilling for a further 25 minutes. Repeat the rolling and folding process two more times and then place in the fridge until required for use.
Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like and a share to your social media. And please consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any future uploads and the upcoming dishes in my Puff Pastry series.